Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the Freestyle Freedom Light Blood Glucose and Monitoring System. Uh, I just purchased this and I'm hoping that it's the same as the old one. So I, I do have one. I like it because you can download the data uh, onto the computer. There's some software that you can uh, acquire from their website. Uh, download it and um, install it on your your PC and you can graph out all the readings that are stored in this meter. Now my mother's glucose, uh, she's type 2 di diabetic uh, we have a pill and then we just recently started very low dosage of insulin in fact uh, we recently had uh, an appointment with a primary care physician and I was a little concerned that in the morning the readings were getting um, sometimes below 100. I think I had one reading one day it was like 75. So the plan was to sort of uh, reduce the amount of the insulin that she gets at night and then lo and behold as soon as we come home uh, after that doctor's visit her blood started uh, blood sugar started going up so 175 sort of like the upper limit of your blood you, know, you don't want it to be higher than that of your blood sugar and now that's where she's starting at where in the morning it was like 99 now she's already starting out at 175 so there's really no headroom there's only you can only go up from there when you eat breakfast and uh, immediately uh, she's already at over 200 you know just with eating anything so it just dawned on me that it's not the battery because it's not showing a low battery but they do recommend that you change your meter every couple of years so it could be it's just that you know it needs to be changed uh, with a new glucose meter so I'm hoping that's the case and I'm curious to see what happens when uh, I'm going to measure the blood sugar with this one and then might measure the blood sugar with this one it used to be uh, I know my dad uh, had an older one you had to enter in the number on the uh, test strip. You don't have to do that anymore, just, but at least not with this one. You just uh, insert the test strip and you're all set to go. So let's open it up, take a look. I think I have to, uh, don't recall how to do it. I have to enter in the, the time and the date before I get started. So I have to check my mother's glucose because she had a stroke several years ago and she's unable to do it herself and uh, she has since gained weight and that has resulted in type 2 diabetes. So I need to either try to figure out how to lose weight, which is pretty hard to do even if you're down to like 1400 calories a day, if you have complete inactivity because you're in a wheelchair very difficult to lose weight even when you're a healthy person as we all know so here's the meter um, before I look at this I can show you in the picture here it does not show the connection so I'm interesting um, I'm hoping that they've kept that you can see here that's where you plug in the cable so you can then download to the computer so this is what you get the battery and it's underneath the strap okay they, they still have that they don't seem to mention it uh, that ability or that feature on the box anywhere again you have to go to the website so we do have some of these um, what are those lances and this here Bags changed a little bit, but still essentially the same. So here's the meter. I think the battery's already in here. Um, yep, all set to go. Sometimes they have a film on there that you're supposed to take off. So here we are. It's working. I just need to go in here and set the time. So I'll get back to you through this. 
So that's what you get. You get the booklet, the meter. This here to hold the lance to prick the finger. A booklet here. Lancing device. And a quick uh, quick start guide here, I guess. So let me go ahead and enter in the dates. I'll get back to you. Okay, with the uh, meter off, press and hold M for three seconds. And we're at set. Press M to bypass setting the optional reminder alarm. And here we are at the hour. So we press C to enter in the correct time. And it's currently 3.14. So this be either set for 12 hour or 24 hour time. It's set for 12. We've got the 12 right there. So that's one, two, three. Set minutes. Press M to save that. Now we're at, at the uh, minutes. And we want to go to 14. Maybe it's at 15 by now. Still at 14. Press M to save. We want the 12 hour or 24 hour. Press M. Saved. So now we enter the date. And the date is already 11. 7. So that's all set. Okay, let's measure the glucose for a new lance. In there, Got an alcohol prep. test strip, if there's going to be a difference between the old one and the new one. That's the old one. Oh, yeah. So it beeps when you have the right amount of blood on the test strip. See what it reads. 188. And all she had was a glucerna. So let's try the new one. Get my fingers crossed. That's louder. Oh great, 187. So it's not the meter. There goes that theory. Well, I got a new meter. So, she did have a flu shot when we were in there for her uh, checkup. And also an indication, uh, well, she doesn't have a temperature. Sometimes if you have uh, 
a lot of times disabled people get urinary tract infections so I don't know if that could be the case but for some reason our sugar is remaining high when uh, before it was being uh, kept in check so I'm not sure what's going on but anyways that's the freestyle freedom light blood glu glucose and monitoring system you can actually take the data and download it into uh, software and graph out and keep track of your uh, blood glucose levels hope you found this video interesting uh, and helpful feel free to like subscribe and or comment thanks for watching I have to figure out what's going on here now just a quick update and I'll show you real quick uh, this is the cable uh, for some reason this cable does not actually come with the glucose meter when you purchase it you have to get this from a third party I think you get the information from uh, the website from the freestyle website and this here plugs in to that port there and it's USB and you download the software from the website so here's a quick look at the Freestyle Copilot Health Management System home version and you can see uh, one of the graphs that you can produce that shows the data points that I've collected with the glucose meter and have stored in this software. You can print this out so it's very useful to help you keep track of your glucose levels. Uh, interesting side note is that after about a week and a half, two weeks my mother's glucose level started coming down again and uh, it ended up, in my opinion, uh, was directly related to the flu vaccine that she had uh, received. And I went online and uh, although it's anecdotal evidence, a lot of other people have experienced the same symptoms with their glucose uh, being elevated after the flu shot. So uh, I'm convinced that that was it. And like I said, it, it came back down after about a week and a half to two weeks. But when I mentioned it to the doctors and the nurses, they quickly dismissed that idea. But other people have seen the same symptoms. So um, that's what the problem was. And that's why I, I went and bought that extra meter. Although it does really, uh, they do recommend uh, buying a new glucose meter after a certain period of time I forget it was two years or stuff like that which seems to make sense but uh, in this case that both meters uh, the other one I've had for probably five years uh, it was off by you know one one unit uh, they both measured the pretty much the same glucose level so if you found this video interesting feel free to like subscribe and or comment and thanks for watching